And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Pelham, Cecil, and Porum. And by always, I mean just recently because of the last video. I, I considered actually doing some level and money grinding out here before we went inside, but I decided against it. When we last left off, we were headed for Mad Ordeals. Let's go ahead and go inside. I decided just need to heal and I should be able to go through here. I shouldn't have too much of a problem. There's fire in the way though. Your turn, Palum. I know you don't have to say that. <gasps> Leave me alone. Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> Form of ice. No wait. Wasn't the girl like always an animal and then the guy was like a household object? What the hell? Piece of cake! And then she smacked him. Palom, our elder taught us not to submit to arrogance. <laughs> yeah, that is the way of the Dark Knight. Shall we go? Sure. And meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom, really, do we need more Justice League references? Oh wow, this is new for Final Fantasy. Come along, we are actually getting a cutscene with just the villain. This is a huge step up, I think. It's always nice to, to see what the villain's up to. Milan of Earth at your service. <laughs> well, what is like Milan of Earth? That's how I always walk up to people. It's just like, hey, baller, come here. Baller of Earth. Happy to see you. We must not leave Cecil alone. Alive. Sorry. We can leave him alone all day. Just don't leave him alive. We'd better make a move against him. Fortunately, his dark sword is nothing to fear for your monsters. However, he is climbing Mount Ordeals now. Then he is to become a paladin. Your mission is to dispose of him beforehand. Yes, my master. Very well. Why is Rosa tied up on the throne? Why? Damn you, game in your foreshadowing. Things have become interesting, don't you think, Kane? Yes. But Cecil might prove quite a formidable opponent. <laughs> and you, my friend, are a formidable opponent. I understand you respect your former friend, but I sent Milan after him. <laughs> Milan is one of my four fiends of elements. He'll put on a good show, don't you think, Rosa? Let me take the task of slaying him instead of Milan. How dare you ask for such a task? I've had enough of your blundering. You only have to watch this girl. Oh, I'll watch her good, baby. Yes, master. Cecil, watch. He can't hear you. You're tired. Yes, meanwhile, that was awesome. But if we go over here, we can get into a battle, which is exactly what I wanted to talk about. We do find new enemies, though. Uh, we find uh, spirits, uh, as well as the skeletons. Go, twin powers! Shape of a griffin, form of a pail of water because I suck. I swear, freaking Wonder Twins destroyed the Justice League. Damn it, they have skills and magic. Kill one of the spirits, I do not like them. Stop hitting my guy that doesn't have any defense against magic. Holy crap, they are weak to sword, which is rare for ghosts. Will you guys, oh, go flare. Yes, go, kill, maim, destroy. Why did it not kill you the first time? Down goes the red bone. But for that fight, we get 795 gil, 556 experience, and Palum gained a level. Porum, too? Oh, Palum learned fire, too. There we go. Porum doesn't learn anything. Useless. But if we go up here, we can find ourselves a cure one potion. And a battle pretty much in the same spot. But there is a new enemy. We have a soul. Damn it. Stop hitting Cecil with your magic. Go, twin powers! Now, I should explain how magic works in this game and, and well, basically all moves in this game. There are technically two ATB bars. Uh, you know, there's two time bars that they don't show you. Go flare. 
just kill everything. Uh, one uh, to, until they get their turn, one until they actually use their turn. Uh, so, and it, uh, how I should phrase that is that if you use a more powerful magic, it will take you longer to actually use it after after you've inputted the command. That makes sense. We have more new enemies? No, but we're attacked from behind. <laughs> no, they're so bony. I should probably stop using Twin. It's actually using a lot of MP from them. Uh, but it's so damn good. It's so damn good. They actually used Comet last time. It's not always Flare. But, I mean, it's going to be a high-level spell. Oh my god, it's Tella! That's what I said. Tella! Yes, thank you. It took you long enough to recognize me. You seek for Medio as well? He knows of Medio. That means... Hey man, you are Tella, right? Watch your mouth. Call him Master Tella. Like I said, I forgot which one's the girl. Poramis, we are honored to see you. We are ordered by our elder to spy on. What? No, a company. <gasps> Pow, right in the kisser. Hmm. We are to guide Cecil in Mount Ordeals. My name is Porum, and I'm Palum. So you are Tella. You are famous in Mycidia, too. Yeah, they're my Wonder Twins. They're, they're not even close to me. I'm Batman. Kids of Mycidia, very well. And Edward and Rydia? They're out somewhere. We were attacked by Leviathan. Sorry, I refuse to say that any other way. On our way to Baron. Oh, no! And Rosa was captured by Golbez. That's not good. That's right, he does know who uh, Rosa is, but he's never met her. I must be his girlfriend. Hush. Shut up. Do you guys have a monkey? I cannot defeat Golbez with my spells alone. I've been seeking the magic of legend, Medio. I felt a strong power from this mountain. Medio is too dangerous. You are too old. Oops. Yes, I'm old, but no matter the price, I must avenge my daughter. Yes, we are grown-ups. They like troubles. Be quiet. This is no place for kids. Why did you come here, Cecil? I came here to be a paladin. My dark sword cannot defeat Golbez. Who is Golbez? You don't know! He's controlling Baron! Yes, he is the source of all evil. Really? All evil? He's the devil? What the hell? Paladin, there must be some secret hidden in this mountain. I will come with you. And Tella has rejoined the party, which means I need to rearrange some things a bit. God. Okay, so uh, let's just look at him and I'll finish arranging them off screen. Uh, he comes back, he has 90 MP. I think he had 80 before. Um, once again, I don't think that ever goes up. He's level 22, which is higher than anybody else right now. Uh, and he's re equipped with some items. He's got a staff, uh, Gaia. Uh, I don't have anything. Should have kept a spare one. Uh, Gaia body armor and an iron ring, which I probably don't have anything to change it for. Alright, let me... Oh, did he learn any new magic? Cure 2... No, looks like he's got everything the same. Everything's the same. But I do need to finish rearranging my party. There we go. Everybody in the back row, just like I wanted. Totally. No. 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 Yes. Let's go. Cecil's always in the front. We're at the seventh station? What does that even mean? It means we've got ghouls and revenants, and we were surprised. Not attacked from behind, but we were still surprised. And they cast fire, because everything's freaking weak to fire, even though... Yeah, I don't fully understand, because even though they're weak to fire, they use fire as a spell. Holy crap, do you have no defense, Tella? Tella! Seriously, Tella! You're gonna die, like, this turn. Get some defense, get a helmet on or something. Look at that, Palum's holding her own. His own? Like I said, it's hard to tell. Uh, let's go for black magic. Fire everybody. 
Light, uh, Cure. Yeah, let's just cure all of us. Fight! Fight, Cecil! You must fight for your life! Kill! Really? The ones in front are not weak to fire. That is surprising to me. That's probably why they they can use fire. Uh, just fight! Look how look how pissed off! Here, go, Ice Rod. Nicely done. Finish that one off so that we can actually use something that might actually hurt them. Uh, cure to everybody. We might as well. Especially after that hit. Good lord, that Revenant! It's an upgraded zombie. Revenants are always tougher. Always. Kill whatever lives. Do they both live? They both live, damn it. Are you kidding me? Kill them with fire then! That didn't hurt nearly as much that time. Go, fire! Finish off these ghouls and zombies! That should not be enough to finish them off. Okay, damn, your dark sword is not working well. I don't know. Fire. Just just go and, and smack it upside the head when you get a chance. That'd be great. Oh, that should be enough to finish it off. Yeah, these are the enemies that they were talking about that the Dark Sword does nothing against. 865 gil, 697 experience. Palm gains another level. Awesome. Learns Lightning, too. Porum gains a level. Learns Cure, too. Always good. Cecil even gained a level. He doesn't learn any spells, though, because he sucks. But if we go over here... I don't know why there's a couple green specks there, but we get an ether out of that treasure chest. And a Lilith! <laughs> oh man, a Lilith. I don't know if I've told you guys uh, my s story with Lilith. Lilith is, is, is by far... Um, yeah, just change. Uh, Lilith is by far my favorite any story that involves the Bible. Lilith is not technically in the Bible, but... No, don't, don't cry, Borum. Holy crap. Kill, kill, kill it. Thank you. Okay, I, I definitely need to heal. And I don't have time to tell you about Lola, so you have to look it up. 365 gills, 687 experience. She, she, she turned into a demon for what? Gotta heal. Let's move on. We've got more treasure to avoid while I get into a huge ass fight. I did see another treasure chest up there. Let's try to make it up there. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, there is a path left. I will take it. So are there going to be any more enemies? Damn it, more Liliths. Uh, Lilith does have an attack called Slap, which can silence you, but she used it on Cecil because she's stupid. So I don't really care. We're going to move on to the summit. His hiss. What? Palum, stop it! Not me! <laughs> Don't hiss at me! Uh, yes, I definitely need to use a save point. Get me some of my MP back. 